It's a big day for the Y.E. Flow students at Dr. Michael M. Kropp Senior High. Today, six months of HIV AIDS education and authentic creative expression will come to life before their peers. And while the students are excited to put on a show, they know there's a serious and powerful message to convey. Because, like, some of the kids don't really understand how dangerous it is to actually have sex. They think, oh, it's just for fun. No, and it's, it's actually and very and dangerous. And it feels good to them. Yeah. But the consequences, they're not good. They're not good. What, what, are, what are the consequences? STD, getting pregnant, HIV, um, like, um, just bad stuff. <laughs> so have you guys, have you guys actually ever met anybody that has had HIV? No. Yes, yes I have a family member. You have a family member? Really? Yeah. And how did, how did that happen to them? Um, her mom had it and passed it to her birth. It's clear this is an issue that affects many, and being a leader takes serious courage. Feel what it is that you're saying. Ever you get distracted, you go back and you feel what you're saying. Every one of you, there's more cases of HIV and AIDS in Miami among teenagers than anywhere else in the country. In these areas, the truth of the matter is, your performance is saving lives. If you guys do not want this to look good, raise your hand. If you do want it to look good, raise your hand. Look at each other. All of you are committed to making this good. Every one of you. I'm here, I'm committed to making this look good. Believe in each other. Hold each other's hands and break the right. Just set the energy so you guys all feel this energy. No matter what goes on out there, ain't nothing. Ladies and gentlemen, everything is within. We believe in each other. It's gonna be good. And everything that you're gonna see on stage, they put together themselves. Everything that you're gonna see up there, they wrote themselves. This is part of their hard work over the course of six months. Open the records. It's Saturday, and I wake up to the sound of my phone. Immediately, I notice I am not in my own bed. When I left Pedro's house last night, Jason saw me walking and offered me a ride. Last I remember, he asked me to come inside while he grabbed his wallet. Judging by the fact that we're both naked and there's beer bottles and a condom wrapper on the floor, I'm sure we had sex. It's Casey. Damn, how did I let her sleep here? I was pulling into my driveway last night, and I saw her walking down the street. I asked where she was coming from, and she quickly changed the subject. I told her I'd take her home if she came inside for a minute. A few beers and a couple words later, I was in there. It's nothing to do here. It's warm. I'm ready to go. Mm -hmm. 
looks so lost. Standing there across the street. She looked like she didn't even talk. So I suggested we close the bathroom door. At first, he just sat there and listened. I didn't mind if he cared or not. Just that he cared enough to hold his position. She beat my record. 13 minutes of After an impressive performance, the YE Flow students review for their final exam. After an HIV infection, about how long does it usually take for a person to show symptoms of AIDS? Ten years. Ten years. Ten years. Ten years. Ten years. What is the period of time that it takes for a person to obtain an accurate result on an HIV test? Three weeks to three months, and that is called window period. Upon completing the exit test, the students graduate from the YE Flow program and are certified as HIV 101 peer educators.